hey guys welcome back in this video we are going to see how you can get the previous date so what do I mean by the previous date so let's understand the use case first let's say this is your data over to here you have a particular customer and you need to get the previous fill date for that particular customer let's say for this customer you have 1 12 2019 and 14 12 2019 for 1 12 2019 it will be null so previous date will not be present but for 14th 12 2019 you will have the previous date which will be 0 1 12 or December 2019 so in this way we can understand that this order was placed from this particular customer and when was the last order placed so this is one of the way to create this type of analysis so this is actually called as previous state logic so how to get that previous state logic this similar logic is actually used in inventory also so in my data model I do have the inline script these are all my columns uh, these are all my columns here I'm just going to copy these columns and in the new section I'll just write in data and now I will say load and I will just add all the columns here I will say resident from the table name this is how you get resident data if not to concat I can actually write not concat but over to here I will just add a junk uh, column so it will not concat and to make sure I will just add no concat so this is my way of actually writing my code so this is how I actually write it and I can just drop field junk from data so over to here I can just say drop table this particular table okay so this is how I actually write my code so I will just double check for everything so now I have all the columns so there might be a case in my data where I have to do a sum of my values okay so over to here I will not need this now as I'm going to sum it so I will just write group by so as per my logic for customer ID name date field and the transaction ID I need the group by option okay and I will need that my selling price should be sum so sum of selling price which will be sales let's say and quantity I can just do sum of quantity as quantity okay and I will load and now when I go to my dashboard I have two columns missing now I have this I will just add my sales here so now I have a calculative value for them if you already have those values calculated you don't need to do it but in my case there might be some values which are repetitive for example same customer has bought uh, one single item two times in one single day so that is something that can happen so to do that uh, to you know rectify that I have just did that option so you might uh, have uh, a different type of data and you have to deal with it in a different way so this is my basic basic step now I will do a preceding load and now the logic starts in my load statement I will start lighting my logic 
so my logic will be i will check customer id so i will say if customer id is equal to peak function of the same customer id then you give me 1 comma 0 as previous and over to here i will just add load star comma and i will end my preceding load like this now let's load it so i will have a previous column this is the basic steps do uh, i do follow so if i just add this now let's check for a i have previous it's not giving me any previous so what could be the problem the problem could be your data itself over to here as you can see i have customer id customer name the date and the transaction id so i personally don't need let's say some of the columns then you can actually remove it but there is one step which actually we did not follow one step is you need to add order by statement and you need to add customer id over here and another column that you have to add is the date field and i can just add the date field as ascending order okay so first it will sort by customer id so if my uh, customer is like a b c now it will come a a like that okay then it will sort in ascending for the date so i will have in this particular fashion which is coming in my front end okay like a and b i will select so a a b b so it will come in this particular fashion from the back end so you have to make sure that order by statement is over there for the key value that uh, which you are going to use it over here like this and the date is something that we are going to get it here so previous date field is something that i can write and now i will reload as you can see now i have 0 and 1 okay so if i select a now i have one it was just because of the order by statement so to refresh everything this was the original logic that i implemented i wanted a sum of selling price and sum of quantity okay for that particular customer for a particular date this was the logic i now the second problem is i want the previous date of that particular order so that field name is date field over to there i need to add in order by so i have to order it by customer id it will come 11111 then i have to tell that you now sort it by date which is to be an ascending order now i have that particular statement here and now i can just add the previous date So to add the previous date, I can just add peak of date field, or I can just say over here null. Okay. And when I reload this data, now I have the previous date over here. Now you do have that. So let's say C. So so C does not has a previous date field here, so it is empty. and now from 16 the last date was 3 and on 30th the last date was 16 now to further go down the line you can actually subtract these two and get the interval of it let's say a shortcut of doing interval is so i can i'll just show you in the front end then we'll implement in the back end so first will be the date field okay i will take a measure over to here first thing i will do is num okay num and now i will minus this into to my 
previous date filled now when i apply i have, I have 13 days and 14 days so this is coming in days now okay now i can just copy this particular code go to my backend and just write load star and add this logic here and say uh, so i did not get appropriate name for this so i just gave it customer back in days or customer i can say purchase in days okay last purchase in days and now when i load it i will have that column i can remove this and i can have this particular column here fantastic so in this way you can actually do it and now you can group it also by making a bucket saying that if uh, let's say the customer is coming regularly let's say within a month then you group it over here when it is coming within let's say 90 days you group it over there so all my values are within uh, 30 days so that doesn't make sense so i can just break down into much granular level so for the bucket i will show you in the next video